Good morning, everyone, on this Easter Resurrection Sunday morning. Uh, I know the whole country is not in sunshine, but boy, it's a beautiful morning this morning. The sun out, Mount Rainier clearly in view, and uh, just just a wonderful time. It's always nice on uh, this this resurrection morning to consider and listen to the birds singing. It's um, and I know it's they're not singing a a, a, a song of the resurrection, but it sure feels like it. It sure seems as though that they are chirping a little louder and a little, um, you know, a little more fervently uh, about the living Savior. Uh, this morning, let's let's just take a moment and consider these things. And let me read from Mark chapter 16, uh, just a few verses here in the uh, first part of the starting in verse 1. And when the Sabbath was passed, Mary Magdalene and Mary, the mother of James and Salome, uh, had brought sweet spices that they might come and anoint him. So they're coming to uh, give an honorable, uh, at least an honor from them of, uh, of Christ, uh, for Christ. And verse 2, and very early in the morning, uh, the first day of the week, they came unto the sepulcher at the rising of the sun. And they said among themselves, Who shall roll away the stone from the door of the sepulchre? And when they were, when they looked, they saw that the stone was rolled away, for it was very great. And entering into the sepulchre, they saw a young man sitting on the right side, clothed with a, uh, in a long white garment, and they were affrighted. And he said unto them, Do not be affrighted. Ye seek Jesus of Nazareth, which was crucified. He is risen. He is not here. Behold the place where they laid him. And so they pointed out, hey, he was here, but he's not here now. And praise God for the resurrection of our Savior. He, he is alive, and he rose bodily from the grave. Um, in 1932, um, Alfred Ackley was a, was a pastor uh, at, a, at a Presbyterian church in California. And in that day, 1932, uh, the 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 means by which people communicated obviously was not internet, uh, but it was on radio. And so that morning he had uh, gotten his face lathered for his shave. And uh, previous to that, he had turned on the radio uh, to hear some news. And uh, while he was shaving, and of course he had the old straight razor he was using. And while he was doing so, the uh, on the on the radio, the regular programming was interrupted and say we want to bring a special. Uh, programming originated from New York City. And so as the speaker was introduced, a well-known preacher of that day who was liberal in his theology, which means he didn't believe the Bible. And so he began the, the radio uh, program this way. Good morning. It's Easter. You know, folks, it really doesn't make any difference to me if Christ be risen or not. As far as I am concerned, his body could be as dust in some Palestinian tomb. The main thing is his truth goes marching on. And so Reverend Ackley, even, even I mean, just a natural reaction to a false idea that he said, it's, it's a lie, he said. And, um, and he forgot he was shaving. He almost, almost uh, cut himself. But um, his, his wife heard, heard him in the, you know, often, you know, he's in the bathroom and he's shaving and she's out somewhere else. And, and she goes, what are you hollering about so early in the morning? And, uh, you know, he, he uh, said that good for nothing preacher. He just lied on the radio and said it didn't matter if Christ be risen or not. And so he finished getting ready that morning. And he said that morning he um, you know, he, he knew Christ was not dead. He, he was alive. And in fact, he had, it, it really bothered him because recently he had been witnessing to a young Jewish man and, and that Jewish man had said to him, why should I, um, worship and honor a dead Jew? And, uh, Reverend Ackley had, had said, that's the point. He's not dead. He's alive. And, and so, um, he just said that 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 preacher, you know, he just he he just covered over everything that gave the new the new church 
uh, the early church life and vigor and excitement, saying that he's, he's resurrected, he's a living Savior, he's not dead. And so as he um, preached that morning to his church, he said it was just, he said he'd never preached so fervently in all his life because he was just so disturbed that someone would even, even proclaim to be a Christian and yet not believe in the resurrection uh, of Jesus Christ from the dead. And he said that that evening he gave the next barrel. So he gave him a double barrel that, that morning and that evening as, as he preached. And as they came home that Sunday night, his wife <laughs> could tell he was still disturbed by this whole thing. And so she said to, to him, Alfred Ackley, you know, probably got her hands folded and, and said, you know what you need to do? You need to do what you do best. You need to write a song. And, and put these things into words. So, so this truth that you're so up, upset about and so fervent about in the, in the, in the right thing that, that'll be put into song and it'll, go, it'll, it'll influence people far beyond this time and, and your life, but to, to spread it out, that, that truth. And so he decided that he would, he would do so. So he went to his study and he said it was amazed as he pulled out his scripture and began to read again and especially uh, Mark 16 verse 6 where it says that he is risen he is not here and he just got so excited again in his soul and he said the words just came to him and he began to write out I serve a risen savior he's in the world today I know that he is living whatever men may say and that was that was the impetus of the beginning and he said he just he just went down through there and very little corrections just seemed to flow all the verses that we have in our hymn book and they're they're the same today that we we still read with the words that he put together and and then he went out to the piano and he said that it was almost just god guiding him that he put the put the words to it and and both the words and the music are just a wonderful thing. If he lives, he lives. Christ Jesus lives today. He walks with me and talks with me along life's narrow way. Uh, he lives, he lives. Salvation to impart. And you ask me how I know he lives. He lives within my heart. And so I hope you could repeat after uh, the, the pastor, Alfred Ackley, written, you know, almost 100 years, 90 years ago today. Um, that, that you could say the same thing, that I know that he is living. I know that he is taking care of my sin, dying on a cross, rising again. And I know he lives because he lives in my heart. He's transformed my life by his grace and by the power of his resurrection. So God bless you today. I hope you join us a little bit later in the day for um, our uh, morning uh, time together, our service. And so God bless you. Uh, and joy and fellowship with your uh, living Savior that has brought you into the presence of God. God bless you. Bye-bye.